Hey guys, my name is Jojo Beans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing some more Axis and Allies, and we are going to be doing the World War II uh, Global Domination as Russia. Today, um, I think we're going to go with Chico just because of the carpet bombing and uh, Maskarova as well. I think that's going to work out the best for us. And we're going to jump into it and try to defend our borders. Definitely, Russia is a tough one to play as, being that its area is so small here, and we have large Japanese forces over here, as well as the German forces over here. So, the first thing I think I'm going to do, let's get these guys out of here, and we will... I guess put some infantry over in Siberia as well, and let's go ahead and get mechanized. I think that'll do it for us this turn. Okay, so when you pull out of Belarus, um, now the German forces there didn't attack the Russian forces like uh, they normally would and they pulled back into Germany because now I'm pretty sure they're going for Great Britain as you can see they only have one mechanized unit there as opposed to uh, my now heavily fortified Russia and Great Britain was an absolute jerk in taking Persia from me because that's where I was going because I really need that income money because there's no available land around here and so now what we can do it is a sizable force in central China is now we are going to take out and this is even an armor air so that's definitely going to be a crippling blow <laughs> to take out an armor air let's go ahead and grab an infantry as well and we should be good because even if they well they can't attack us with their stuff from Germany because they have a country to go through okay this is good this is good because now they just moved another one of their armor units. And, okay, good. So Great Britain's moving some forces back into Great Britain. And that's just the thing, is, you know, when you start playing this, is that you only get certain money, you know, per turn. So this all adds up. So I'm getting basically $47 per turn unless, you know, my countries get captured or something like that. So when you're attacking other countries, just take it one at a time, one at a time, because obviously $61, I can really only get them mechanized with that, or you know, two of these lower end technologies and things, and eventually it starts adding up. When you start taking over, I mean, see Germany right now, actually they only have, they only have five, two, three, well, five additional countries besides their uh, capital. Um, you know, they're getting very low income. Um, and so they're not going to be able to produce high-end units like their armor and such. So you take them out bit by bit, and with each country that I would capture, they're losing, like if I take over Southern Europe now, they're going to lose $5 per turn, which is, that's pretty huge. Um, and, and then they have less units as well to move around and attack with. Okay, and Great Britain is just... They're, Great Britain's about to lose here. Um, I don't know if I should upgrade this or go with technologies. I think I'll just upgrade this and we'll try because all we can lose is just one infantry. So it's not too bad, but I'm going to try to, if we can win this, then hopefully they'll pull their forces back and they won't attack Great Britain. All right, we've got Germany. So Germany is $12, so they just lost a lot of income, and I don't know how in the world Great Britain defended that. And he's gonna move his troops out. That's, <sighs> okay. All right, well, now that there's only an infantry there, they should be able to take it out on this turn. We've got uh, Japanese forces coming in off from this side, so I'm going to 
just pretty much kind of trying to enforce these borders and just keep keep uh, Japan at bay enough to give um, the American forces enough time to move in as well as Great Britain still has units kind of scattered throughout. Okay, yep, that's what I expected. Great, so now, again, we're just going to take these guys out one by one. They're losing income as well as a mechanized unit. And I'm moving my forces uh, mainly this way to deal with the German forces that are probably going to come back across the French coast. They might go up into Scandinavia, and if they do that, then we've got to make sure to defend our capital, because that's probably the way they're going to come. Uh, I'm going to send these guys down here, because if we could take out this air infantry, that would be great. <laughs> and they're splitting up their forces, which is definitely not a good idea. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm, I'm surprised that worked for Great Britain there. Now, we can only do one attack per turn. So, it's either trying to take out the Japanese here in western China, or this... Uh, armor here in Germany, but since we have captured Germany, we want to try now to, of course, eliminate all German forces, because now, when we take out the German forces here on the French coast, all they're getting is four dollars per turn, and they can't even buy anything because we control Germany right now. So right now, they're stuck in eastern Canada. Of course, they could start coming this way, but they're pretty much trapped for right now, and we'll just keep getting mechanized infantry <laughs> and uh, actually let's get let's get marksmanship training because that will help out a little bit and we'll send them over here and then probably our next turn we'll be able to uh, start working our way over here oh boy It's good that we were able to defend that somehow uh, with our defensive army there because uh, that stopped their advance from that side, which is definitely good. And Germany is down to just two tanks and two infantry, so they are definitely running out of options here. I'm going to... let's move our forces here. We'll try to take them out in eastern Canada after this, or should they happen to take over the United States, then we'll come in and wipe them out. And let's see, we'll go ahead and take out these guys as well. So let me just upgrade that to an armored division real quick. And then we'll grab improved fortifications just because. Oof. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just stick to uh, reinforcing our borders for right now. All right, so we're just going to be hounding Germany out here trying to finally run them into a corner and take them out. And let's go... we need mechanized and infantry. Just pretty much mechanized and infantry are the units that I buy the most because they're cheap and I want mass units. And uh, we'll just keep trying this to get them taken out. Now I could pull my forces from Siberia into the Ural Mountains and have additional infantry excuse me, infantry, uh, down there as well. I kind of want to keep them there, because I know if I move them, then definitely they're going to move into Siberia. But I want to take them out and try to push them back. Because if we can come in through here in Western China, we can take all this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. They're going to keep trying for Eastern Siberia, and they're finally going to get it.
Uh, and now I'm faced with a bit of a problem whether I take them out in Western China or I go in for Germany here, which I'm, I'm going for Germany because if we can get them fully eliminated, um, then the only way they can come back is if Japan uh, captures Germany, which I really hope doesn't happen. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this to a mechanized just because <laughs> I for sure want to win that battle. I do not want to lose it. Uh, we'll go ahead and purchase an infantry down here and get them into Kazakhstan. Uh, definitely, if you're playing this, make sure... I mean, you don't have to, I'm just saying. Uh, to make sure you always have an infantry with any group of larger units. Because when you lose a battle, your weakest unit dies. Alright, there we go. So Germany is totally annihilated and we have won back the United States. That's great. So now we can focus on taking out Japan here, and Japan looks like they're focusing on us. So we're definitely going to have to take this out before it gets to be too big of a problem. And as much as I'd like to upgrade this, again, I'm just going to get mechanized in infantry because I kind of need spam units right now just to have that large force and presence in our borders. And I'm going to go ahead and send these guys over. So now we have a two-pronged attack going in. So we'll have Russians in Hawaii, and they're going to be able to come through Midway and the Aleutian Islands there and be able to strike right at the heart of the Japanese capital. And while that's going on, we're going to have these guys just bulldoze through this infantry. And then these guys I'm going to leave here just as, so hopefully this tank won't come in, or at least if he does, there's some resistance there. And then also, if any of these guys move into western China, then both of these guys can get them there. So I like how this is going. It looks like it's going to wrap up pretty quickly, pretty easily here. They're really spreading their forces out, which is not a good idea. They're trying to capture as much land as possible to get all that money flow as much as possible but that means we can just pick off their units one by one and that's going to work out great for us so now we can go ahead and move these guys into western china and i'm going to get another mechanized and another infantry and we'll move them into the ural mountains just to try to deter that tank from attacking us if he was thinking that's what he was going to do and then, let's see, I also want to, I want to move some troops into Alaska here, just because I don't want that mechanized advancing anymore. And then we'll be able to take out Eastern Siberia as well, and maybe do a two-pronged attack on this tank up here, and then combine our forces for that final large attack. So let's get these guys here into Southeast Asia. We're going to take... Hmm. Got the majority of their infantry down south here. They only have this one tank up north, and we're trying to get... Okay, so either... I think I could actually end the game right here if I were to attack Japan. Their capital with all these forces. I think I could win right now, but just for the sake of playing it out um, I'm going to go ahead and just finish it like this slowly and capturing as much as possible
so let's go ahead and take out this tank in Siberia. I think that should be enough. Okay, I'm going to move these guys here into eastern China, because I think we're going to go for it. We're just going to end this on our next turn here. That's a pretty sizable force. I was able to accumulate here um, and I think this is gonna do it everybody in there yep and that is going to be game for us 17 <laughs> armies to six and uh, that's gonna be a good game global domination hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to drop a like down below leave a comment thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace